watching out for you. This is KZI 9 News at 6. We are learning more about a developing story out of Wisconsin tonight with possible ties to Oak Ridge and Cottage Grove. A former police officer arrested for hiding the bodies of two women in suitcases. One of them may be a young woman from Oak Ridge who went missing more than a year ago. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Richardson in for Matt. And I'm Renee McCullough. KEZI 9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz joins us live tonight in the newsroom with the latest in this investigation. Sarah? Well, right now, Cottage Grove police detectives are working with the Geneva Police Department in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, to make a positive identification of Jenny Gomez. Now, I did speak with Corporal Conrad Gagner this afternoon, and he says that he was at her last dental office in Cottage Grove this morning to help facilitate sending of those records. Jenny Gomez was an Oak Ridge High School graduate and disappeared in 2012. This is a photo of Gomez at an Oak Ridge track meet in 2010. She later moved to Cottage Grove after her graduation, and her foster mom told me that she disappeared shortly after that time. Corporal Gagner told me that they did speak with her foster dad, who lives in Cottage Grove, where Gomez lived, but they didn't obtain any evidence from that home. Her foster mom also says that she has no idea how Gomez got to Wisconsin, but believes that Gomez met the suspect on an online dating service. That suspect, Stephen Zelich, a former police officer, was in Wisconsin courtroom today where a judge ordered him uh, held on a $1 million bond, and they say that one of the victims, 37-year-old Laura Simonson, was found naked with a rope around her neck and a sexual ball gag in her mouth. The other victim, who police think could be Gomez, was also found naked with her hands tied behind her. Now, Gomez's foster mom also mentioned that Gomez had a distinctive tattoo, and Corporal Gagner did confirm that the body found had a tattoo consistent with that description. He says in cases like this, a subpoena or a search warrant for the dental records may be expedited. We'll have more details as they become available. Live in the newsroom, Sarah Hurwitz, KZI 9 News.